Hello YouTube, The Blind Wizard here, and uh, somehow, um, as you can tell by, my, by the background, I am in a different location. Um, ooh, what's this? A note. Hello, Blind Wizard, this is Joey. Because I am home now from where I was before, you too will also find yourself here. How? Is anyone's guess. But you are wherever Joey goes. Just don't ask any more questions than you have to. Alrighty then. I won't. Then again, you could always just chalk it up to magic. So, this week we have our third episode of Dawn to Dawn. And, um... I I don't know what else to say. That second episode was fun. Okarun had his transformation. That was awesome. I hope he gets to keep that transformation ability, you know? But, like, we kind of have a mission to get his, his balls back. <laughs> to, get, to, get, to get them back from the, the curse, the turbo granny. <laughs> but, um, at the moment, um... Momo, who was protecting him and giving him the ability to make it, take advantage of the curse and everything, she passed out at the end of the episode. And man, what a cliffhanger. She's passed out. The curse starts taking him over. Oh my goodness, where is this going to go? Where is this going to go? I don't know. Also, I'm going to make a wild prediction right now. Because I haven't seen anything for the episode. Nothing. But we got a cameo of... Momo's grandma and I'm gonna make a wild prediction but I'm probably gonna do it in the episode recording itself so I'm putting this out here as my video evidence that I am making this theory or not not a theory I'm making this prediction and if I turn out to be right no one can blame me for reading ahead or anything because I literally don't have the time to read another series when I'm already reading and watching so much literally joey yesterday just finished all of orient like he literally binged the last six episodes of orient and he and he's now gonna go read that manga that apparently just finished its final chapter like last week so you know he doesn't have all the time in the world to just start another manga so he's leaving it to me to watch the episodes so the actual prediction itself will be in that recording so now as per usual i shall make this transition next time you see me here it'll be the post episode discussion and abracadabra alakazam transition all righty post episode discussion time you ladies, you ladies, uh, you ladies want to help me? You do? Lovely. If you're wondering why I have a random peach and daisy amiibo, watch the recording. You'll see what the storyline is with that. But I've been told that one of you two would love to join me in future reactions. Uh, you know, a wizard needs his princess to protect. Do I not? Now, which one of you wants to join me? No, I can't pick both of you. I have to pick one of you. So talk it out amongst yourselves. Ah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I gave you a wonderful protection spell you girls are safe. Okay, so which one, which one is going to join me in future reactions? Peach. Peach? Really? Peach? Okay, Daisy. You get to... Wait, no? Not just you? Wait, you want, you want me to tell me something? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oh, I see what you're think. I see what you're saying, Peach. I see it. Okay. I like what you're saying. This is going to be one weird video when Joey finally looks at it. You're going to be like, Wizard, what are you doing? What I'm doing is thinking of the future. So, apparently, these two lovely princesses have come to a compromise. That one will join me for a certain series and then alternate between the two for each different series. That means you're in luck, Daisy. You get to join me for Undead Murder Farce when I finally get back to that one. Unfortunately, my lovely princesses, neither of you can be Patreon exclusive. So anything that you show up in from now on is YouTube only. Not even the free stuff on my Patreon. Is that, is that clear? Okay. Now that that's out of the way, Princess Peach and I will do the post-episode discussion. The wizard and his princess. So, one of my predictions already came true. I am surprised. If you didn't watch the episode recording already, go ahead and go ahead and do that, and then come back here. But, um, I made a prediction. We met Momo's grandma in this episode, and boy oh boy... I made such a wild call, and I actually called it. I, I cannot believe it. I am a blind anime only who didn't touch the manga yet and refuses to touch it. I refuse to touch it until the season is over. Because literally, I did the same thing with uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I, I just watched the season, and then before season two came out, I read the manga. But I didn't read the manga before that. You know, I'm doing the same thing here. I made a wild prediction. And I wouldn't have had the motivation to record my predictions if it weren't for Peach. So, she has a stake in this too. You can even call her the prediction princess, if you will. Now then, for the rest of the episode, it was cool seeing her grandma battle Turbo Granny at the beginning. Although I was a little worried she was actually going to kill Okaroon. But then the story would stop dead in its tracks, you know? <laughs> so I'm kind of glad that we didn't go down that way. It's also funny that the scene at the beginning of the episode turned out to be true. That she wasn't, it wasn't fake. That it was literally true information that the idol guy was trying to hide. <laughs> wow. And the even crazier reveal in that press release was the fact that... <laughs> he wasn't even legally married, so it's like, wow. Alrighty then. Now, to be fair, the only reason it's such a big deal is because, once again, idol culture. It's a thing in Japan. It's a very, very daunting business. If anyone has seen Oshinoko, you'll understand that that press release is such a big deal for that person. Because just like it was for, what was her name? I... <laughs> in Oshinoko, big deal, very big deal. So then, like, the rest of the episode is the fallout of, like, a new character has joined the cast, and now we're working to, like, because Turbo Ooh. Granny made her final move, or not, not final move, she's making a big move, where she's like, I am tired of being at the whim of these people. And she's like, we're going to settle this once and for all. Come to my tunnel. And that's where the episode ends, basically. We're just going to her tunnel to basically, I guess, battle her for Okaroon's balls? Well, then, um, there's not much else I can say on it. Um, me and Peach will leave you guys with that because there's nothing else to say. There's, there's nothing else to say, now is there? Mm. So, this is a status quo change. Moving forward, anything that me, the blind wizard, does for YouTube purposes will have one of two prediction princesses. Either Peach or Daisy. And they are called the prediction princesses because they led to my predictions. And one of them came true. 
for something that was a completely just random idea I had. I owe it to these two. You know? So without further ado, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, share the video with a friend, and I will set Peach down. Grab my wand so I can magic this outro, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, Alakazam.